West Australians are trying hard to protect themselves from the sun and, and uh, well done. Um, there's a few things that they could do to improve their sun protection even further and uh, yeah, Cancer Council would like to uh, just remind people that uh, there's, there's a couple of mistakes that we often make in the sun. A classic mistake is to use the temperature of the day to, to help you decide whether you need sun protection or not. The important thing to remember is that UV radiation is not directly related to temperature. So when you walk outside and it's a hot day, we're all prompted to put a hat on and to cover up, that's, that's good. But it's quite possible that a week later or a month later, the temperature will have fallen to, you know, 25 degrees. You'll walk outside and think, oh, I don't need to worry today because it's not hot. And yet the UV radiation will be just as strong as it was. So it's important to try and keep in mind that we don't feel UV radiation, uh, but we need to defend against it whenever it's greater than three. So singlets and sleeveless tops, when you're outside for a long time, it's, they're not a good idea because they don't provide protection against UV radiation. They obviously expose a lot more skin and it's the exposing of the skin in high UV conditions that leads to the damage. So Cancer Council guidelines say that long sleeve clothing, uh, long trousers, the mechanical protection that's provided by long clothing is the most effective sort of sun protection. We know that we tend not to put sunscreen on completely enough, so we don't cover every uh, square centimetre of exposed skin. We also tend not to put sunscreen on thickly enough, so we use less than the, than the recommended amount, and generally we're, we're not good at reapplying it. So the combination of those things mean that we often get only around about half of the protection that uh, you'd expect from the sunscreen if you, if you were going by the label. Um, so yeah, we need to be more careful with our sunscreen application. One of the things that people often don't appreciate is that no sunscreen blocks 100% of UV radiation. So in, in other words, even if you put sunscreen on correctly, it's not a perfect defence. Um, that's one of the reasons why Cancer Council recommends a five-way approach to sun protection rather than just relying on sunscreen alone. It's not uncommon to see kids lying out on the beach uh, in bikinis and board shorts, uh, so briefly dressed but covered in sunscreen, and the kids are thinking that they're protected because they're wearing the sunscreen, when in fact we know that the sunscreen doesn't block 100% of the UV radiation, uh, and very often the kids don't apply it correctly anyway. So. The idea that sunscreen is a complete defence is one that we need, to, uh, we need to forget. So caps and visors fail because they don't keep the sun off the ears and the sides of the face. If I take my hat off briefly, there's a lot of sun hitting the side of my face, my ears, the back of my neck. If I put a cap on, all I'm doing is just covering the front, the ears, the sides of the face, the back of the neck. If it's a visor, the top of my head uh, is all still exposed to the sun. A broad brim hat covers me completely and offers much better protection. It's a mistake where people think that the clouds are providing some protection from the sun. But what we know is that a great percentage of the UV radiation travels through the clouds. Some of it is blocked, but that depends on the thickness of the cloud. <clears throat> and the thing is, with the clouds, they blow around. The, we, it, it's very hard to tell how reliable they're going to be. Much better off to take the view with clouds that they're not there and to cover up. Just sitting in the shade, wearing very brief clothing, maybe not worrying about a hat or a sunscreen, and thinking that if they sit in the shade, they'll be fine. One of the things we know about UV radiation, particularly in a situation down here on the beach, is that it reflects off other surfaces. It reflects off the white sand, almost like a mirror. Uh, and that means that the UV radiation can come in underneath the shade, it can come in from the sides, and if you're sitting there all day, you can still get quite a, quite a reasonable sunburn. The closer the sunglasses fit to the face, the, the less able the stray rays of light are to get around behind them. And uh, so 
Wayfarer sunglasses that tend to sit out on the end of the nose, while they're, while they're good and they're certainly better than nothing, uh, could be better if they were a close fitting style. One of the things that we know about sunglasses is that they, they defend us against UV light getting into the eye. Uh, it's a mistake to think that you only need sunglasses when you're looking at a glary or an uncomfortably bright situation. Really, uh, once the UV index is above three, sunglasses are a good idea all the time. One of the ways that we're encouraging people to learn about the sun is to use the UV index. The UV index is just a number scale that tells us how strong the UV radiation is down here on the ground every day. The World Health Organization tells us that when the UV index is above three, we need to defend ourselves and be sun smart. A great way to check it is with the SunSmart app. Uh, download the SunSmart app from the Play Store or iTunes, get it on your iPhone, and it'll tell you how strong the UV radiation is when you're outside. A, a great use for the UV index is to help you plan your day. So if you're somebody who doesn't like the feel of sunscreen and you don't want to bother with a hat and all that, then our advice is get down to the beach in the afternoon when the UV index is below three. That'll be sometime around about 4 o'clock, maybe 4.30. It's still warm enough for a swim, it's great, but you don't have to worry about sun protection. We encourage people to uh, download the app and, and to learn to use the UV index. Cancer Council wishes everyone a great summer in the sun. We hope that you get out and have fun. But remember that when the UV index is above 3, that uh, sun protection is required.